So I finally decided to go tubeless on my mountain bike. But the problem I had is uh, I don't have an air compressor at home. I decided to buy this uh, Joe Blow Booster bike cam pump uh, for $200. I mean, it works great and everything, but I was on the internet the other day and I found out that you can use this pump sprayer from Home Depot that costs only $10 and you should be able to seat your tires just using that pump sprayer. So today we're gonna to be testing that pump sprayer against the Joe Blow Booster. So yeah guys, hopefully I can save you guys some money today and let's see if this pump sprayer really does seat your tires. For the pump spare this is all you get you get this hose this little white tube and i guess this is like the nozzle and you got the one gallon pump right here so this should be everything you need right here <laughs> expensive hand pump or air compressor so now yes. so that actually wasn't that that hard to put together so now we're going to test it to see if it seats the tire Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you are going to need a hand pump ready. Fill it with um, the rest of the air. Um, this will pretty much seat your tire. And as you've seen on the video, I used the hand pump to continue pumping air and to seat the rest of the tire. But this definitely worked right here. Yeah, the only problem with this is that um, there's no pressure gauge on it. So you wouldn't know if it's over overly compressed with air and this safety release valve i'm not really sure if this gives out before this pops off so for 200 dollars this is what you get half a hand pump and half an air compressor with a smart head i guess that's what they call it a smart head yeah they call it a smart head because you don't have to do anything to make it compatible with the presta or schrader so it's just one does it all yeah and release button to get it to that desired PSI. You get your easy to read gauge right here so you get an actual gauge. And here's the two modes you can select from. Inflate, which is pretty much just using your using just the hand pump portion of the pump. Then you have the charge. Switch it like that. And I guess it switches to the air the integrated air 
canister and you just pump the air canister until you reach your desired PSI and once you're ready to release the air just switch it back yeah, so on this one you don't have to take the valve core um, you can just do it with the core, valve core in there It. It's pretty simple. All you gotta do is just switch. So would I recommend either or or one over the other definitely you get what you pay for um, if you're on a budget yeah definitely ten dollars is actually not that bad ten dollars you have a little mini air compressor that would not fully see your tires but we'll get the job done uh, the only thing you are going to need is a valve core remover if you don't have one and your uh, hand pump so yeah ten dollars is not bad definitely would recommend this if you have tubeless tires and don't have an air compressor but if you do have the money you want to make your life way simpler this gel blow booster definitely does what it does fully seats your tires and it's a hand pump and it looks like it's really well made so you get what you pay for so yeah both recommended if you're on a budget go to your local home depot if you're not boom right there if you just want to have something fancy and easy and you have the money Joe um, toe peak Joe blow booster it's where it's at if not save yourself some money boom